See, because it wasn't no damn tree, bro. You ran into a tree, he and the tree didn't run off. You ran off. He need to be telling a different story. Like another car hit me, and they ran off. That's the story he need to be telling. Cause the tree is not gonna work. Richard, buddy, you ain't mad enough, buddy. <laughs> Boom, tree, and I hit it, and it ran off. <laughs> the tree ran off. Yeah, and so I think we 
refused to follow a police report saying that it was a hit and run because the tree ran off and I didn't even get his insurance information. That's a good idea because if it's the tree's fault, then your dad will get mad at you. Exactly. Let's go, please. Okay, look, 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 look. I know this we keep pausing it, but listen. So, Junior is so freaking dumb <laughs> that he's going to believe it. But wait till they tell the story to Cody. Watch what Cody going to say. That don't even make any sense. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get the issues. Mayday, is somebody calling cops? Ooh, big Mexican women. Right? Nice. Oh. All right, why'd you call me? So there's a dent on my car, yeah. and I'm not going to show you where it is. I just want to see if you notice it. Well, yeah, I can see it. It's right there. Damn it! That noticeable, huh? I mean, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Did you get lazy recently? No, it's just a big old dent. What happened? Well, this is what happened, officer. Picture this. I was driving my dad's oh car, my God. and all of a sudden, a tree jumped down the middle of the road, and I hit it, and then he ran off, and I didn't collect his insurance information. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I have several questions. First off, how old are you? Twelve. Okay, you should not have been not driving a car. car. You don't have your driver's license. Actually, I'm 16. Huh. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, you are 16. You do have a driver's license. Congratulations. Oh. Uh, so what happened? So I was driving along. Tree. Should I do a social experiment and go ahead and go out and you know do something bad and then just give the cop some money? I mean, what the fuck, Richard? That money he just gave him was the money he could have gave first to get that fucking dinner. Pulled out the dick. <laughs> we don't, I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. We'll keep it going. Listen, he has money, so all going. he has to do is just take it to the shop and get the dent pulled out. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> Now that I think about it, you are 16. You do have a driver's license. Congratulations. Uh, so what happened? So I was driving oh, along. You. Tree <laughs> jumped out in the middle of the road and I hit it and it ran off. Well, trees don't usually just jump out into the road like that. How about well, a deer? Did. What, was it Groot from like from Guardians of the Galaxy? Hey, I was going to say the same thing. Yes, actually, yes, it was him. Let's go arrest him. He did it. Well, he's not actually on this planet as far as I know. So I don't think that was him. But, you know, I am a mechanic, so I could probably take care of that for you. Okay, that'd be great. All right, let me go get my overalls on. He could probably fix it. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't tear that shit up. No, this is the Suckomatic 5000. It has 5,000 pounds of suckage. This thing could... So have y'all ever seen this social experiment? If y'all just put hot water on the um the spot where you had your dent in, and then you push put your hand oh shoot you put your hand under um I think I seen it on TikTok actually you you put hot water on the thing but the little plunge thing has to be on the part where the dent is and then you have to push you have to be under that part on the other side of the part so you can push the thing in with the hot water and plunge it out. I'm gonna try that one day, but let's pray that don't happen to my car. <laughs> Let's see if this is what they're gonna do though. Great. All right, let me go get my overalls on. He could probably fix it. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Is that a toilet plunger? No. This is the Suckomatic 5000. It has 5,000 pounds of suckage. This thing could suck anything. I'd leave my wife for this thing. Would talk less. Well, can I get the dent out? I can't even get the dent out. Of course, I'll get the dent out. This thing will look good as new. Just check this out. Here we go. Here we go. I'm feeling it. Oh, here it is. I can, I can feel it. It's coming. It's coming. Oh. Okay, yeah. So you're saying that I'm screwed? No, 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 no. First of all, a mechanic wouldn't be. Oh. oh. Hold on, let me explain. Oh. What are you doing? See, now you can tell your dad some guy hit with a hammer, not a tree. <laughs> what do you do now, Richard? I don't know, Junior, because I can't call the cops because he is. He just banged that bitch with the hammer. Yo. Let's get a moment of silence for the BMW. Okay, let's proceed. God damn. Oh. See? Now you can tell your dad some guy hit with a hammer, not a tree. That's that eBay, that eBay mechanic. I don't know, Junior, because I can't call the cops because he is a cop. Well, if, if you look at the dent, it is a little bit better. And now you can get a better excuse. You can say that um, somebody hit your car with a hammer. But I'm not supposed to be over here, Junior, because my dad grounded me and I'm supposed to be in my room. Okay, well, go just park the car in the thing and say somebody did it. Oh, I can blame my butler, Chives. Really? I'm gonna call him over here. You called, sir? Yes, Chives. <laughs> Look what you did to my dad's car. Bad, Chives. Bad. I'm gonna rub your nose in it. Uh, You've been a bad, Chives. He is not a dog. Well, that's what we're gonna tell my dad. Well, but shouldn't you be in your room because you're grounded? And shouldn't you be washing dishes or doing whatever butlers do? I was until you called, sir. Well, Chives, we're gonna call my dad and tell him that you wrecked his car. And this is the story, Chives. You drug me out of my room, even though I was grounded. And you promised me to take me to McDonald's. And you slammed this car into a tree.
free because you're a drunk. And in the McDonald's drive-thru, some crazy maniac came up with a hammer and started hitting the car. You get to keep your job. But wouldn't I lose my job when your father found out what I did to his car? No, he's just going to give you a spanking like he always does. So come inside. We're going to call my dad. Oh. All right, Charles. Oh, call God. my dad. Do I absolutely have to, sir? Do it! Very well. It's ringing. Oh, hell no. First of all, all he had to do was just park the car in the which and probably act like he was just sleeping. Like, oh, dad, I don't know what happened. It was, you know, somebody must have rock at it or something. Rick ain't that bright. He got all the money in the mm -hmm. world, but he ain't got no brain. But if the money could have helped him just go ahead and take it to the shop, and they could just. All this could have been avoided, but hey. Put it out. All right, Charles, call my dad. Do I absolutely have to, <laughs> sir? Do it! Very well. That's right. Nothing can ruin this day. <laughs> Hold on, Rafiki. What are they doing? No, actually, not hard enough. But my bowler chimes is calling, and he knows that it's massage day, so it must be an emergency. Hold on. What do you want, Chives? You know it's massage day. <sighs> Sir, it seems due to unforeseen circumstances that may have been a small issue with something. Spit it out, Chives! You're interrupting my massage! Something happened to your car. What? Which car, Chives? Uh, the BMW. Oh, no! No! Anything but that! Not my big Mexican woman car! What happened, Chives? What happened to it? Uh, um, what, how well? Don't you have to touch me, donkey mouth? Anyway, Chives, if you don't tell me what happened to my car, I'm going to stick my fingers in this candle. Oh, well, sir, I... Okay, stick the finger in the candle. Uh, I'm a stupid, smelly drunk. I grabbed Richard and put him in the BMW and ran into a tree. Then we went to McDonald's and a crazy man hit it with a hammer. You what? That is it, Chives! I can't believe this! I'm sticking my hand in this candle! Please don't, sir. That hurts so good. Oh, Chives, that I'm hurts coming so to you right now so you can kiss my boo-boo! Uh, uh, no! Ew, donkey mouth! Did he believe it? I don't know, sir. Dang it, Chives! You didn't sound believable. Ow, my eye! The nerve guns don't hurt that bad. Go check and see if it's my dad. Okay. Oh. Yeah, your dad's here. What do we do? Go into the door and try to stall. See if he notices the dip. Okay. Uh, hello? Where are they? Well, they're upstairs, but... I'm gonna go look at the car real quick. I'll ask you something. All right, so Richard doesn't want me to show you where the dent is. He wants to see if you can see it with your own eyes. So on the count of three, I want you to point out the damage. One, two, three. Right here. All of this. All of this. Oh, and don't forget, down here too. Well, we didn't even notice that. Yeah, well, good thing I got LASIK twice. Um, well, okay, come inside now. All right, here they are. All right, Chives. Now, was everything that you told me on the phone true? Uh, uh, yeah. Now, think about it, Chives, because if you lie to me, then I'm going to pack you up in a little crate and ship you to Madagascar, where you're going to be dancing with little lemurs to the song, <laughs> I like to move it, move it. Now, tell me, Chives, I do like you to move, move it, move, move it. it? No, sir. So, what happened? Uh, I, I, uh, uh, oh, no, I'm having a heart attack. Don't you pull that fake heart attack. <laughs> Driving along, and I hit a tree. And then I brought it straight back to Junior's house to try to fix it so I wouldn't get in 
trouble for what Chives told me to do. And that's when, that's when this crazy guy came and hit the car with a hammer. And you'll see that on your dash cam. Uh, I thought he'd actually tell the truth. That is it, Chives! Get ready for your spankings! Shall I get the pedals, uh... Actually, I think I'm gonna use my lucky tennis racket. Oh! oh but yeah. John, you didn't do anything. That's okay, this is just my life. You no, know, I'm not gonna sit back and let this happen. Mr. Goodman, sir, Richard's lying. What are you doing, Junior? I'm telling the truth for you. So, so Chives didn't do anything, so Chives didn't get any spankings. Richard lied, and Richard deserves a spanking. Richard, is this true? Oh, yeah, Dad. I can't believe you, Richard! Chives, get the power! Very yeah, good, sir. I'm gonna teach your little hiney on <laughs> What the heck? Uh, I'm gonna teach your little hiney a lesson. Oh, that was kind of funny. Richard finally getting in trouble. And money came by his way out. Money could have bought his way out. He just took it to the shop and he just wants to get it fixed. But instead, he wants to throw it at everybody no else that wasn't helping him. You don't got a brain. <laughs> God damn, Richard. Oh, poor Richard. No, no, forget that. There ain't yeah, no poor ain't Richard. No poor Richard. <laughs> poor his poor brain. Because he he could have he could have thought that through and he could have got away with it. But <laughs> right. Uh, before I get out the video, hit smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so I can post it. Make sure you tell friends, tell friends, tell friends, to your mom, auntie, daddy's cousin, grandmas, grandpas, and all cousins to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Tell everybody. Okay. Duh. And we ain't even gonna let y'all. We're gonna see y'all next video. Duh. Peace.